but the fulcrum, as you can see, it's like this. Then if we have to shift and we have to go in a French grip position, the only thing that I do is going from this position to this position. So literally from having this part of my hand looking upwards to looking laterally. And as we can see, the thumb naturally goes in this position. Like, we can try this at home, raise the hand, turn it, and that's it. The thumb is naturally here. The thumb is naturally in this position, like it's straight. It doesn't have any weird position, okay? So if I put the stick, this is how it's going to, to look, okay? It's exactly the same way, just with the stick in hand. And from here, I don't even have a fulcrum because the French grip develops in this way. The thumb, it's a lever. So I don't even need a fulcrum. Like the only thing that will keep the stick in my hand is literally the rebound. Okay. Uh, in fact, we don't play drums like this because it's not comfortable, right? We'd rather play it in this way with a uh, um, free stroke motion if you have to play it slow and then we will shift to a finger motion and we don't want to raise the stick on surfaces that don't have a rebound because lifting a stick with micro muscles of the finger wouldn't make sense it's too much effort for such a small part of the body so we'd rather use another part of the body another grip to play on surfaces that don't have a lot of rebound instead of uh, giving a lot of physical effort um, to, to the fingers. So the fulcrum here doesn't even exist almost for me. Uh, again, it's this type of situation, it's this type of motion and uh, the only finger that never... I use all the fingers but then let's say that the uh, the control happens between the thumb and the index so I never really move the, fi the index too much and I push mainly with my um, middle finger but the fulcrum as you can see it's like this like I, I wouldn't be able to uh, hold the stick in this way between the index and, and, and the thumb okay so it's exactly the same position of the German, same way to hold a stick, just with the thumb looking upward. So, really no fulcrum point. Things change when I have to play push-pull instead. Because in this case, all the rotation of the stick happens between our index and thumb. And so, things change here because we have to be able to control this motion letting the hand going in one way and the stick coming back up and then going back in first position allowing the stick to rotate between these two fingers so I have to be careful not to choke the stick or not to leave it too loose so that I don't lose it in my hand. So the only moment where my fulcrum is mainly focused between the thumb and index finger is for the push pull that I might use for double strokes or uh, very low ghost notes where I can control better just by using this approach. So here I develop my fulcrum between my index and thumb in this way and so the fulcrum point becomes that part of the hand but um, how I hold the stick it's always the same way that I, I use for the German just I make sure that the thumb is not in front of uh, the index if not I would lose the control of the stick after the impact but that after the impact I can still have the stick in, uh, in between my thumb and my index finger in control.